Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so if you want to be good at writing advanced shell scripts, especially one-liner uh, scripts, so I mean, most of the system administrators or DevOps and SRE guys over there, uh, we prefer writing single line scripts, right, in Bash. We can do a lot of stuff in, in a single line of a script. We call it single line, one-liner scripts, right? So if you want to be good at those, uh, this is the command which you should be very, uh, familiar with which is cut which I'm going to cover in this video because using cut you can actually manipulate the output of different commands files uh, I mean in in any way you want right although I mean we'll be covering uh, alternatives of cut as well but cut is like very simple to implement right I'll cover awk as well which which is another string manipulation uh, command file manipulation command <coughs> but cut is very simple to use and that is why, I mean, if you have to write single line, one liner scripts, uh, cut is the first, I mean, the first command you go to, right? So let's get started. First, let's just look at the man page for cut. Let's just read through. So you can see the name cut remove section of each line. So it operates on each line of a file, right? One by one. And then there are a bunch of options, which I'll show you what, what they do. Okay. So that's, that's, I mean, a very basic man page, nothing special. Okay, so let's get started with first uh, first thing which we want to do. So I actually have a file here, uh, which is called test file. And I have some entries which are separated by tab. Let me increase the font size for this. Okay, now let me do. <coughs> okay, so you can see these entries, they're separated by tabs. So by default, uh, the delimiter or yeah, the, the delimiter for cut command is a tab space, right? Not a space, it's a tab space. And what do you, what do I mean by delimiter? Delimiter, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll just so you. Sh so suppose if I do cut and I'll use the first option, which is hyphen F, and I want to print say the second column of this file, which is 258. So this is the second column, right? So I'll just say F stand for basically field, right? So field are nothing, they're just column. So I want the second field and then I'll give the file name. So you can see I'm getting 258, which is the second column, right? You can also do in this manner. So you can just do cat test file and you can pipe the output to cut hyphen F2. Works the same, <coughs> right? So because our delimiter was tab, uh, cat was actually able to operate on this, right? But if, what if I do something like, so if I go into test file, and I'll do something like say input some data 11, 12 and 13. So this is not tab separated. This is uh, space separated, right? So I'll save this file and then again, run the same command. So you can see my first three lines are giving the correct output, which I want, but the last line, which has the space separated uh, entry, it has just printed it out, right? So even if you want to print any column or any field, it will give you the same. So it will print the first column, which was space, which is tab separated. And the last line, which is not uh, tab separated, it is just printing out the line. So what do you do in this case? <clears throat> so in this case, you actually have an option called hyphen D. So with hyphen D, you can specify the delimiter, right? So in this case, what if I want my delimiter to be a space, right? So now, and let's just change it to second column. So you can see on the first three lines, cat is not operating because they are space, they are tab space separated, but the final line, which was space separated. And we told that I want my delimiter to be a space. It printed out the second field, which is 12, right? So that's the that's how you use uh, another use of cat is to actually extract characters so say if i do echo hello world and i pipe it to cut command and say i want the first two characters so hyphen c and i just do two oh sorry the second character uh, yeah, so I'll get E, which is the second character. If I want the characters until T, I can just do a, uh, a hyphen to, 
and this should give me uh, h any which is characters until a particular range so similarly if you want you can do something like this so you can get characters and you can do the opposite as well so suppose i want characters from e to o which is 2 3 4 5 so i can do 2 hyphen 5 you can see right and if you want till n you just remove this number and you can get all the characters till end of the string so that this is an cut com i mean this extracting of characters you can't do this thing with awk right so i'll just tell you although we have not covered awk but you can't do extract characters from awk right so for extracting characters cut is the very very good command okay so let's write a one line script basically right so what if i want to say so let me just cat hc pass wd file which is the best file to do all this stuff right and i'll pipe it to cut hyphen d and i want my delimiter to be colon because uh, etc pass wd file is actually separated by a lot of colons and then i want the first field or say the second field second field is nothing i think first field is usernames so this is how you actually can extract all the usernames right let me just clear the screen and cat out etc pass wd okay so we have like one two three so you can see all these are separated by uh, semicolon uh, colons and we have one two three four five six entries right so what i can do here something like cut hyphen d my delimiter colon hyphen f6 so this will give me the login shell of all the users right uh, what else can we do here okay so let me clear the screen again so i think i have httpd on this machine yes and if i do hyphen version so you can see i'm getting two lines server version which is this and server build which is this right so what if i want to extract this right so let's write a small single liner script to extract the version of apache so I can do something like httpd hyphen v and then pipe this output to cut and hyphen d our delimiter would be a slash because I'm extracting the output after this right slash you can see a slash and I want hyphen f second field so you can see I'm getting two lines, right? Because although, I mean, cut executed on this line as well, but it didn't find, didn't match anything. So it just printed out the line and then I got this. So what can I do here? So one thing I can do is I can do a grep hyphen I on version. So since version is only in the first line, right? You see, I'm getting now this, but I'm still getting a uh, CentOS, right? This CentOS thing, which I don't want. So you can pipe this complete output to another cut command, right? And this time you can have your delimiter as a space. And then you can print the first field. So now you can see I'm just getting, I mean, this is all, I mean, I'm doing at a runtime, right? I don't have anything planned or I, I've not so this is all on the runtime i mean there would be probably a better way to do this right something i mean with awk i think this is this can be done in a, a much much concise way but yeah this is what i think of right now so you can see i mean for i mean this is just an example of showing you how you can actually implement cut in single liner scripts one liner scripts right so one liner scripts cut is like one of the best i mean i use a lot of cut when I'm writing one line of this, one, one line of scripts, right? Okay, so that's pretty much it I wanted to cover in this video, uh, cut command. 
so yeah before i mean because if you want to write ad, write advanced shell scripts there are few concepts few commands which you should be very thorough with so i'll be covering cut so i've already covered cut and in the next video i'll be going over awk so awk is another awesome command uh, it, although i mean in it in itself it's a scripting language but uh, you can use it in bash so we'll be using awk in our bash right and we'll see the advanced usage of awk what what you can extract i mean you can extract a lot of stuff uh, using awk much better much advanced than cut right much advanced than cut cool so this is it for this video i hope you like the videos guys uh, please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching